Hey guys, it's Olivia aka with Lobo A here and I am back. I told you guys that I would be consistent and here we are. Um, I swear to God at this point I should be sponsored by the Flatiron School because I am just their biggest cheerleader but you know I just love the school because it I mean it literally changed my life so um, but I promise I'm not sponsored so this is 100% completely my real honest opinion. Um, but anyhow let's go ahead and jump into it. So inquiring minds would like to know, how's the work-life balance with being a junior software engineer or just being a software engineer in general? So this was definitely a question that I had in the past. I mean, you're thinking once you're in your career, um, you know, that you're having to have emails on your phone and constantly checking your emails and working 60 hour weeks and things like that. I just imagine what I see on the movies when I look at you know, super professional people that are in their career and making really good money. And I had this notion in my head that, you know, you kind of always have to be on and, and ready to go. Um, like I said, always checking your emails and working late nights when projects and deadlines are due. Um, and I also have to give the disclaimer that I feel like this is a from job to job and company to company kind of thing. So I can only give my personal opinion on my company and how things go. But um, what I would say is that when I first started on my first day of work, I asked my boss, hey, what are my hours? And he kind of gave me this perplexed look like, what do you mean? And I'm like, well, when when do I come in? When do I leave? Like, is lunch or lunch breaks covered? Like, how does this work? And he's like, mm, as long as you get your work done, I, I don't really care how how long you work. And so that was just very interesting for me because I had never been in a, a position like that before where it's like, mm, just work whenever you want to work um, and how long, however long you want to work, um, just as long as you're not taking advantage of anything. And so, yeah, that's essentially what it is. Sometimes I work six hour days, seven hour days, eight hour days. Um, I've once before worked nine hour days um, or a nine hour day because I was pushing a deadline and it was a whole situation at hand with that. But typically I'm, I, I, it's, you're expected to complete your work obviously, but you're not expected to stay at the office until 10 o'clock every single night or six or seven or eight o'clock um, every night. Of course, given if there are special projects and special deadlines you're working on, then yeah, that, that makes sense that you would probably have to stay and be that invested in your company that you would want to, um, you know, come in on a weekend if, you know, something crazy breaks or anything like that. That's never happened to me. I do personally know that there are really optimistic and aggressive engineers and my company where you know they're always on the message board um chatting they're always checking their emails they have their emails on their phone um sometimes they come in on the weekend and sometimes they work late nights honestly um these are people that don't have like a full family or and even if they do these are more likely men one thing that i've noticed within this industry is that as women as mothers we're not able to do things like that we're not able to stay late and come in on weekends because we're taking care of the children and so um i have had that you know that thing in my head where i think like man you know as, as a man, you know, that's why they can do that. That's why they can work longer hours. That's why they can come in on the weekends. And of course, that looks really, really good. Um, but it's not necessarily expected. It's not a standard. It's just really exceptional employees. <laughs> um, an email blast was sent out to thank one of the engineers that, you know, he skipped out on one of his vacations in order to stay at work and meet a deadline. And so for me, I don't think I would ever do that. <laughs> But um, again, you have people that just like to go above and beyond and are that invested. And I'm sure if it was that incredibly important, then I probably would do the same. But again, it's just not expected. So yeah, you can come in whenever you want. You can leave whenever you want. You can take your lunch break whenever you want. And you can go and be on your lunch break as long or as short as you want. It's completely up to you. 
they do encourage that you take lunch breaks away from the computer but I do mine at the computer because I'm a mom and so the only way I can even work on my to-do list is to do it over my lunch break or to read or things like that I'll do that over lunch as well um, oftentimes the girls will go out for lunch and so sometimes they're gone for two and a half hours and they don't care um, or you know I'll mingle with the guys too even though it's kind of segregated I've noticed and I don't know if that's more of a cultural thing because I do work with a lot of um, the Asian community and so I think I, this is a total assumption I could be totally wrong but maybe it's like a thing where women don't hang out with men or men don't hang out with women I don't know but one thing I've noticed at my company is that you know um, kind of the men do their thing and the women do their own thing and it's not on purpose it's just it's kind of like this this odd feeling of like if, if another woman isn't gonna be there they don't feel comfortable I don't know again I totally think that's more of a cultural thing and not like a company thing um, even though it can sometimes be like a boys club at work, but not if if anything, I'm more so included. And I don't know if it's because um, I'm young. I'm younger. I don't know what it is, but I am diver diverting right now. Um, but yeah, you know, if I have to go to the doctor or anything like that, I can I can just go. I don't have to, you know, ask. I just have to make sure that someone knows. Um, but I don't have to take time off for that. I don't, I don't clock in and clock out during the day. Um, so I can come in late because I'm going to a doctor's appointment or taking my son in for a doctor's appointment. Um, I, if, uh, you know, what my boss really told me is that I'm, if I'm taking more than half a day, then go ahead and record it. But if it's less than half a day, they just really don't care. Um, so I think that really answers that question as far as work-life balance. Definitely let me know if you guys have any more questions. I'm more than happy to answer them. And um, don't forget to subscribe because I have a ton of really great content surrounding, surrounding software engineering and programming. And I hope you guys are having a great day.